Hello, in this video we'll use a MailChimp account and the Genesis eNews Extended plugin to add a newsletter sign up form to our website. This is what we're going to add. We're going to add a little box like this. Now this is specifically for Genesis framework themes and I'm using a StudioPress theme. It's real, this is designed to be used with StudioPress themes by uh, the work on the Genesis framework. So first of all what we need to do, we need to go in our um, we don't have anything there at the moment, that's just an empty sidebar. So we need to go to our dashboard and we want to add a plugin. Now I've already installed it, but if you've not installed it, search for Genesis eNews Extended plugin and just uh, it's, it's by Brandon Craft and install it and then activate the plugin. You just follow the instructions. So what we need to do once we've installed the plugin we've got to go to appearance widgets and the plugin installs a widget that we can drag into a widget area so the widget we're looking for is Genesis eNews extended and we're going to put it in a primary sidebar widget area so drag Genesis eNews extended into primary sidebar area and you won't be able to do that until after you've installed the plugin now, inside this widget, if it's not open, just click the down arrow to open it. What we need to put inside here is a bit of text and some code. So, I need a bit of teaser text at the top of, like a headline, at the top of the um, the little box we're going to make. So, just put something that's going to make them really want to join your newsletter. And we need a bit of text underneath just a, like it's a bit like a headline and um, a paragraph here so in the, where it says title put your headline but it says to show before the form just type a little paragraph in there that's going to make them really want to sign up if you want to you can add some text after the form as well I'm just putting text before the form so if we scroll down the page a bit we'll see this so what we've got now is form action which we're going to do in a minute but then we need this email email field and e, uh, first name field and last name field now there's there's two lots of this field and a bit further down the page you've got these other ones which is first name input now we're dealing with these that where it says field so we're looking for email field and what we want to put in there is email in all caps And then in the first name field, it's F name. And last name, it's L name. Make sure you spell everything right. <laughs> right, now, we're going to come back to this form action in a, a minute or two. What we've done so far is install the plugin, drag the widget into the widget area, and filled in these little boxes. So we'll save our changes and we'll just have a look to see what we've got so far. Now we had nothing there before. Refresh the page and we've got the, the paragraph but not the sign up box. Now to get the sign up box you need a MailChimp, well you can do this with several different um, email providers but MailChimp is really good and there's a good free um, kind of offer. That you, you, can, you can have a lot of email addresses on your list for free you only really need to pay once you've got quite a big mailing list anyway how do we get there first of all when you sign up for your, when you signed up for your email list on um, MailChimp log in and in the sidebar you'll see one that says list now if you haven't created a list yet there's a button over here that says create list so you can create a new list if you've already got a list just click the list you want to use now this is my MailChimp account, it's a test one I've made. Uh, if I didn't have a list I could click that one. I do have a list so I just I click lists in the sidebar and then I choose the list I want to use which is this one. And now I'll look on here for sign up forms. And I want embedded forms. Now if you scroll down this page a bit, there's some code and what you do, you copy that code, just click it to select and then use Control c to copy it 
and then you need to use a plain text editor don't use Microsoft Word this just won't work um, and in your plain text editor what you're looking for is form action here now the easiest way is if you click if you usually press Control F on a text editor you usually get a find box and just type in form action click find and it'll find it for you so what we need when you've got the form action section here get this a equals and then some um, quote marks so you want to copy from the starting quote marks up there like that now you want the double you might you probably have a double forward slash and then whatever your new username is and then this code here you don't want to use file as this where it says method post so it's just between the quote marks you don't need form action you just need this piece of code so you copy that and now we need to go back to our plugin so this is the uh, within dashboard uh, uh, widget appearance widgets in the dashboard and we're now going back to the enews extended um, widget that we configure in scroll down till you find form action and the code we've just pa uh, copied paste in there you only need that little bit of code you don't need all the code that we copied you don't need all this here you just need that one little bit of code so we paste that into our form action section here and now we click save and if we go back to our page refresh the page there we go you've got your first name last name place to put the email address and a button to press to go you can change this text uh, this text here like the go button if you want to change that all you do go back to our widget and right at the bottom there's some text that says go just change that to anything you want and if we go back and refresh our page change to go now well oh and below this video what I've done I've made a blog post and some screenshots to make it easier for you to uh, to set this up so if we look underneath this video on YouTube you'll see a, a blog post you can click to uh, to see the screenshots and this this plugin works in most studio press themes so give it a try and see what you think thanks for watching and bye for now